Now, it is well known that planting trees is a good thing for our planet and governments all around the world have pledged to plant billions of them in the fight against climate change. But scientists now are warning that planting trees in the wrong areas can actually cause some harm. To tell us more, Shirley Sitbon from our science desk is with me. She's been looking into this latest study. And Shirley, before we get into that fresh research, just spell out for us, first of all, the advantages of reforestation. Where to start? There are so many of them. But we can see images of Colombia. Just a, a few weeks ago, there were terrible fires. And obviously, planting trees, uh, reforestation, uh, well, this means, this aims to replenish uh, and, and have these forests uh, alive again. And of course, we know that uh, forest trees, they absorb, uh, they absorb carbon dioxide, they cool down the area. Uh, local populations also use them for various uh, uh, things. They also, you know, the wood is extremely important. So yes, usually, of course, reforestation is extremely important. We can see these images of forests that were uh, uh, destroyed uh, there in, in Colombia, various areas. And there because there's also a drought now, so local authorities uh, fear that they won't be able uh, to uh, replant uh, trees very fast. It'll take a lot of time. We can also see some images from Morocco, because in Morocco, there are not just fires in recent years, as you know, but uh, also, well, every year there are diseases, and basically forests are just, well, uh, losing uh, their, their trees. And what is done now for a few years in the just three weeks ago, a new uh, campaign started. We can see uh, uh, local officials. Uh, well, they're replanting uh, trees. They aim to have the Moroccan forests alive and kicking again. Uh, that's extremely important also for uh, local farmers, also for shepherds, because they can't work anymore, many of them, uh, because it's just too hot. Uh, and the fact that you build and you, you have the, you plant and you have these forests, well, it brings cooler temperatures, better conditions for all that. And of course, uh, as we've talked about cooler temperatures, there's an example because Earth's future uh, has uh, come up recently with a study showing th how this is effective, how forests are effective to slow down global warming. They bring an example of the United States globally. In the past 100 years, uh, there is an increase of temperatures of 0 0.7 uh, degrees. But in the East, where since 1930 there's been massive reforestation, well, temperatures have gone up by only 0 0.3 degrees, which is a big difference. Mm. It's not the only reason, of course, but it proves once again that trees and forests, when they are preserved, and when they're there, they allow uh, to slow down global warming. OK, so clear advantage of reforestation, Shirley. Scientists, though, are saying that if it happens in the wrong area, it's rather bad for the ecosystem. Yes, and we can look at some examples. For example, uh, the savannas, uh, the uh, uh, grasslands. If you, if you, you know, you plant millions of trees there, obviously you're going to lose something that's just as precious. Mm -hmm. Other ecosystems which need to be preserved, and that's what scientists have been saying, uh, because of course uh, flora and uh, the fauna there uh, would uh, disappear eventually, and this will be bad for biodiversity. Uh, that's something that many uh, people have been saying. Of course, uh, companies and countries, you know, they have this idea of uh, planting trees equals good, mm -hmm. but not always. Mm -hmm. And so, doing it too massively in too many areas is just uh, dangerous. That's what uh, some people people have been seeing. And finally, just briefly, Shirley, um, this latest study saying that some of the decisions have been that have been taken, particularly in African countries, um, weren't always the right call. Yes, uh, the magazine Science brings figures. It says that their actual plans now project to uh, massively uh, reforest areas where there is there are savannas and grasslands. The size of France, uh, basically, is under threat. Wow. And this can be stopped. And they're saying, yes, uh, uh, if you want to make it very simply, uh, simply said, uh, well, if you plant trees, that's good, but it needs to be catered in certain circumstances, not everywhere, not all the time, not too much. All right, Shirley Sitbon from our science desk, thank you very much indeed for that.